happy that he took uh, the fight so fast. He's moving up in weight, and he's taking on an undefeated power puncher. Look, I won't be surprised if both guys go down in this fight. They both have a, a great power in both hands. Um, skilled fighters being both undefeated, both champions. They, I, like I said, Lee, when you look at this this card on paper, this is a great night of fighting for, for an average fan just flipping through channels. Yes, if you're a diehard, you know the ins and outs of the main event might bring down the, the excitement a little, but, but not on this fight. This one, Roman uh, Gonzalez is, is making a, a true argument that he is one of the best pound-for-pound fighters in the world and not just a fabricated story by HBO, which many, including myself, was believing not too long ago. But I like this fight. Uh, you know, Gonzalez takes a lot of punches. His defense is not perfect. Um, Quadras is a, is a good power puncher. I expect this to be an exciting um, back-and-forth battle. Yeah, I do too. Uh, with that said, how does the fight turn out? I don't know, Lee. I really don't. I'm going to be rooting for Quadras. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but Gonzalez, they keep telling me he's one of the best in the world. I haven't truly seen it, but maybe Saturday night I will. He, this is the fight that I wanted to see. So they ask me on Sunday, uh, what do I think about, uh, Gonzalez right now? Um, Quadras is bigger. He's 28. He's in his prime. I like, I like Quadras to win this fight. Ryan Martin is added to the undercard of Quadris and Chocolate on the undercard. Undefeated lightweight Ryan Blue Chip Martin, 15-0 with 9 KOs, will face Furman Elceda de los Santos. What a name. 28-15-2 and two in an eight-round clash on the non-televised WBC super flyweight undercard. Um, Co-feature... Uh, okay, I, I the biggest deal on the undercard to me is the rematch between uh, Yoshiro <laughs> right. Kamagi and Jesus Soto Carras. Understandable. That nobody's talking about. No, that's understandable Kamag though because we know what we got from these two in the first fight. So yeah, of course, we, this is this is going to be a, um, a, a jam on the undercard. These two, these two will come back. They will give it their all. Both men know Lee without winning. They're not going to get on primetime television again. So I expect another war from Kamagai and Jesus Soto Carras. Uh, Ortiz Ustinov collapses again. The WBA uh, mandated a fight between WBA interim heavyweight champion Luis Ortiz, 25 and 0, 22 KOs, a manufactured champion, interim champion, and Alexander Ustinov, who can't believe that he's still around. He was another manufactured guy. Right. And the one in the 31 and one proved that he was a manufactured guy has apparently fallen apart for the second time. Yusinov uh, representative Vlad Hunrov informed fightnews.com that the deadline has passed for Ortiz to sign the fight after the WBA. Uh, uh, oh no. After world of boxing won the right to promote the bout at a WBA purse bid on August 15th, Ortiz Uzdanov was originally planned for the Canelo Smith undercard on September 17th in Dallas, which they need help to sell that damn card. Uh, Ortiz refused that art, uh, agreement and instead uh, bought out his contract with Golden Boy. Stupid. Uh, you know what? Golden Boy should have went out of their way or cut a deal with anybody that would listen to stack that card and make that. Sh like, Oscar's not going to get a stage that big. Again, like this is going to be a one and done at the current rate. If that Canelo fight falls flat, right, which it could, it could easily fall flat and be a dull, boring fight because Canelo's involved. And uh, so you can only hope that there were a couple of real monster gems on the undercard. Hey, having a an WBA quote unquote championship fight for the heavyweights undefeated. That, yeah, it's strong. Yeah. And especially Luis Ortiz is a dark horse. There's a lot of fans that know Ortiz in the heavyweight division. It's kind of sad seeing how his career is falling apart right now. You know, thinking I was thinking him getting away from Golden Boy would actually help. And then a week later, he's being dropped from another fight. Um, so I don't know where they're going to make up that million dollars, but he better get back in the ring soon. Um, as far as the Canelo Smith card in San Antonio, 
Look, they're going off the star power of Canelo and cheap ticket prices. Lee, I mean, half of that stadium you're going to be able to get into for under $50. Um, I, I couldn't see 100, what did he get, 100,000 seats? What does the Dallas Stadium hold? Isn't it 100,000 or 90,000, something like this, people? There's no way they're going to sell those tickets at anything higher than 50 bucks in the whole third deck of that place. You're watching two guys a mile away. Um, so. Yeah. I definitely expect them to sell out. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of fans that like to go to big fights in in um, inner cities, Lee. That, that is not Las Vegas or Atlantic City or New York because it's like your only time to ever go to some of these things. Me and you have been spoiled. You've been spoiled since you were little with your father taking you to big fights. But there's other guys that only been to one or two or three maybe in their whole life. And so when when someone comes into town like a cell... But weren't there more? Like, it seems to me in the 90s, I admit, in the 90s when I went to fights, kind of religiously in my 20s, right? Uh, and they all seemed big. Like, I don't... I go to Vegas a lot, for those that don't know. <laughs> I go to Vegas a lot. And whether or not I get... Uh, usually get uh, a credential or not, I usually go to the fights... Or I'm around the fights. I like being in the town during the fights. That kind of thing. There just aren't as many. Like that big fight thing doesn't exist. No, and and honestly, it's because the the fighters are not willing to fight each other right now. There are big fights out there, Lee, that would still bring a lot of people to Las Vegas. And I'm not talking the numbers of Mayweather Pacquiao or De La Hoya Mayweather will bring. But you will still get a turnout of 8,000, 10,000 people religiously in Las Vegas if some of these guys would fight. One of the biggest names probably that could be should have been an attraction for Las Vegas is Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia was steamrolling on tamp, a top rank. He was undefeated. His brother runs a successful gym in Oxnard. They're very well known in the boxing community. There's no reason why... Mikey ha shouldn't have already headlined numerous MGM cards. Uh, he did that to himself. He pulled out a top rank himself. Um, Danny Garcia probably being another fighter that should have already headlined many cards in Las Vegas. Um, decided to pull back. He didn't want Las Vegas. I mean, that Lucas Matisse, Danny Garcia fight. There was more people talking about that fight that night than they were the main event. I mean, that was a major fight at that time. Lucas Matisse and Danny Garcia, you didn't get better than them in the junior welterweight division. And so Danny should have been there already. He's pulled out. Another dipshit name would be Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. should have been uh, top rank, would have babied that guy his whole life if he didn't uh, have a fallout with them. He left Las Vegas. So you are correct is in the point that there, there's not that many big fights, but I believe it's the sport's fault. It's the fighter's fault more than it is um, um, we don't have enough uh, good talent out there to put on the same cards that there was in the 80s and 90s. Absolutely. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it's going to be a one and done. He'll either pull it right out of his ass and it'll be fantastic or it'll be a colossal flop. Because we love the sport so much, Canelo will succeed at whatever he does. He has one of the strongest fan bases in this sport. We all love to watch boxing. We're very family oriented. So when the fights are on, everyone's getting together. It's 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 like, a, I guess you would say football for, for American families that tailgate in the parking lots across the nation. It, boxing is like that for the Mexican fan base. Canelo's a big, he is the one that is being pumped in the the public as the star of the country i believe he'll succeed lee until he gets into a big fight and loses a few that's really when the fans start pulling back is when when you you, you don't have you don't look invis invincible anymore yeah i completely agree uh next show box it's a heavyweight. Uh, oh, it's sorry, a, sorry, sorry, sorry. I scrolled down too far. It, no, I'm uh, just saying it's a heavyweight news uh, week. It really is. Yeah. All right. Team Fury press conference postponed. So the drop for those of you who don't know, let's catch you up on the drama. So we had one heavyweight champion. His name was Klitschko. Uh, this would be the younger of the two Klitschko brothers. The older of the Klitschko brothers retired as the WBC champion emiratus which means if he decides to fight again he will automatically become the wbc champion automatically or or one the would, or the number one contender it might be or the yeah. number one contender yeah, yeah, yeah. if if senior decides to do it which i suspect he's probably got 
I, what we still haven't seen is both Klitschko's fight on a card for the championship on the same night. And I still think that they, when you, they both get closer to really being done, you're going to see the That's monster great fight. They're shot. not going to fight each other. You know other. what, Lee? If that happens, A, you're the only one in boxing that has ever said, That's a great call. I, I didn't even think about that, but you're right. When, when they need to cash that one check, that's both. Yeah, the hundred million yeah. dollar check is going to be the double bill of the clip coach. <laughs> That's a good one, yes, sir. No doubt, right? He's going to come in as the Emiratus and challenge the 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 champion. <laughs> and man, that's a good it'll be call. a full unification bout on the other, and then they drop the belts right in the center of the ring and walk off. Yep. And they will be a legend. The name Klitschko will be a legend on that. If not game. already, if not already, if not already, yeah. and he's he's arguably the younger brother argue they're both great i mean it's really hard to say they're both great heavyweights um with that said uh the younger klitschko who got wrapped up in a hot piece of vagina and that's what i see it as this guy got comfortable for those of you who don't know the younger klitschko uh married a movie star lives in southern california (laughs) has a kid and he's got uh, a hot piece of ass can you call it any other way right what, what, what Not from the riot this? riddled streets anymore. He's hot, right? Yes, she uh, is. He's yeah. hot too. Oh, <laughs> I say he's I was all yes, she is, <laughs> and you're all he's I'm getting hot. The call over my shoulder. <laughs> Apparently, Klitschko's hotter than her. Okay, whatever the case, boxers generally are with women they've been hey, with. And most Klitschko time. sucks too, Lee, because he's smarter than most men. So not only is he yes. can kick your ass, take your girl, but he's he can even outthink got- you. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's that, you know, at least De La Hoya. They're politically savvy. They're politically yeah. involved. De La Hoya. They're involved in their communities. De La Hoya yeah. might have the looks, but I'm telling you, you can, you can outwit Oscar on any given night. You know what I mean? That's, that's your edge <laughs> over him. The glitch goes, hell no. You just take a back seat, bro. Hope your girl yeah. don't leave. I'll put this into terms for you young kids listening to the show. If you go into an escape room, you want to take a Klitschko with you to solve the riddles. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> All right. So the younger Klitschko kept fighting. He was the complete unified champion, and, except for one single belt, which was the WBC at the time. Uh, he probably just didn't want to, as I recall, he didn't want to pay the sanctioning fees or he was tired of the Suleiman bullshit. Uh, he kept taking the bigger money fights with Europeans. I don't blame him. You've been champion for 10 years. You could do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, that's my vote. And it's a great card. I would like to see. And then (laughs) remarkably out of the blue, a guy by the name of Tyson Fury, for those of you who don't know, um, beat him. Kind of got mugged in the ring by a big mauling beast. Right, right. Klitschko, who probably was pulling somewhat of a Mike Tyson. and Not Not really motivated. Not motivated. Look, I think he had too much going on in his life. He took a, it's been almost a full year. Then there's been a couple of postponements. And here we are again. The Team Fury and, press conference is now postponed. A and, Team Fury press conference scheduled for today was postponed and rescheduled and postponed and rescheduled. Right. Promoter Frank Warren uh, says he expects an announcement shortly to confirm everything is going ahead as planned. Because we don't know. He's nervous. It's WBA, WBO, heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Uh, and former champ Vladimir Klitschko are slated for October 29th in Manchester, England. The deal looks done. The contracts have been signed, but they're still dicking around with it. Warren also stated the Fury's cousin, uh, WBO number five heavyweight, uh, Huey Fury. Really? (laughs) Really? Huey Fury? Wow. We'll take on WBO number three, Andy Ruiz, in an eliminator bout. Uh, It is a double Fury... Oh my God! They're gypsies, man. I they see the alone. title of today's show: a double fury bout. <laughs> um, <sighs> Tyson Fury's, I think, nervous. He, he, look at he. I think he knows. No, I think a motivated Klitschko is a scary. That's thing. what I mean. He knows. He knows that Klitschko was not himself that night, or at least you have to think that until we see Klitschko give us back-to-back performances like he did against Fury. You have to think Klitschko isn't motivated. He's going to come back and knock you out. Look at when you watch the tapes of Tyson Fury, when you watch his previous fights, the guy had, he seems like he has no skill. It seems like you should just be able to go in there, land a few right hands, and start knocking his head around. 
that's not motivation. There's no thing to fear there. Tyson is, like you said, he's awkward. He's just big. He uses his height. I'm sure Klitschko's seen a few of his fights and was like, you know, he's big. I'll get in and I'll land my right hand. Don't